This is the Galleon Kruger 800S Fusion, and it's an 800 watt tube head that just has so much power, so much tone to it that it's just absolutely incredible to feel and hear that natural overdrive sound in there. And not only that, but there are so many features in this head that truly make it just insanely versatile. No matter what genre you're playing, no matter what kind of bass you play, or really what kind of style you play either. There's so many different ways to completely sculpt your tone to that exact nuance of what you're wanting. And y'all, it is really quite the game changer for me. So this head is really exciting. And honestly, I haven't tried a GK amp since my first amp, which was a 700 RB2. And man, I really love that amp. I really got to know how to play and really how to play in bands thanks to that amp. And it got beat the hell up, y'all. But it survived everything I threw at it and just had some incredible tone to it as well. So seeing something like this 800S Fusion is just, man, it is mind blowing. And again, there are some particular features about this head that I cannot get enough of. For all the sounds in this video, I just have the amp going into the GK CX210 cabinet, mic'd up with a simple AKG D112. And that's it. And before we really dive into this head and see what it's all about, and for the sake of transparency, I do wanna say that Galleon Kruger has lent me this head and the cabinet used for this video and has also compensated me for my time, but that has no bearing on my opinions about this head or my playing at all either. So let's get started. So the name of the game for the Fusion series just in general is Tone, Tone, and Tone. And there's so many ways to sculpt that tone and really make it your own. Whether it's your clean tone or your overdrive tone that just has, oh my God, Y'all, this just beautiful natural crunch to it and this natural breakup to it that just, ugh, I absolutely love it. So basically you have your clean channel, your overdrive channel, as well as a four band active EQ. But this is where GK has a trick up their sleeve. And this is where you can push in a majority of those knobs and get a completely different output of sound. Really, it gives you basically just mode one and mode two for almost every single knob on there. But you know, let's just jump into that. So on your front control panel going from left to right, you start with your trim voice knob. And this adjusts the input gain of your quarter input and when you push that knob, it engages more of an EQ shaping that completely changes the sound that you get. Next to that, you have your normal slash on knob, and this is your regular clean channel that you get. The next three knobs control your overdrive channel, starting with overdrive on. Push to engage that channel and then adjust your overdrive gain. Next to that, you have edge slash cut, which adjusts the high frequency of your drive circuit. Then when you push to engage the cut mode, it reduces frequencies above five kilohertz. And then for your level slash body knob, this adjusts the output level of your overdrive channel. Then when you push it in, it activates body mode, which adds a low frequency enhancement post distortion. And just with these knobs so far, you can get a big variety of different tones from that really sparkling clean all the way to a nice classic thick tube amp sound is <laughs> just awesome. Now you can't get a high gain metal sound out of it, but that's not really what this is for. It's for that thick, punchy, and very gritty natural overdrive sound you can get out of a classic tube amp. Then from there, you have your four band EQ, which to me is the real secret weapon of this amp, just because of the amount of different ways you can switch everything around.
Starting with bass, this adjusts your low end frequency. Then you push for bump mode, which enhances your low end frequency. Next to that, you have low mids slash contour, where you can adjust your low mids. Then when you push for contour mode, it reduces your mid frequency and boosts your lows and your highs. High mid slash high cut might be my favorite part about this EQ section. It adjusts your high mid frequency, then you push for high cut mode and this reduces your high frequency and really it helps get rid of any unwanted string noise, any unwanted clankiness or anything else while you're playing. Then you have your treble slash presence knob, which adjusts your treble. Then when you push to activate presence mode, that enhances your high frequency. And finally, you have your master volume, which adjusts your overall output then you can push that in from you. Now really, I'm not kidding when I say this is where this amp truly excels. Being able to shape your tone in so many different ways and really it can drastically change by just pushing that one of those knobs in. Then for the rear control panel, you have your power button as well as your DI out where you can switch between your pre EQ and post EQ, headphone out, aux in, tuner in, foot switch, as well as an effects loop. Then of course your outputs too. So overall with the 800S Fusion, it's awesome. It really is just insane how many just amazing tones you can get out of this tiny little light box, especially with the different ways that you can shape the EQ, the different ways that you can use the overdrive, especially with things like being able to push in that trim level to adjust your input game and really just have a completely different sound. It is just <laughs> miraculous, I love it. And of course, not everyone's really gonna be able to get a hang of the EQ and all the different ways you could push it in. 
So I guess there could be kind of a learning curve for some people. It's really not super hard, but it is completely different than anything I've ever tried before. It just leaves for a lot of experimentation and a lot of different ways to sculpt your tone. It's just loud, powerful, has that really natural overdrive sound that is to die for, especially with a Music Man bass, in my opinion. And it's awesome. <laughs> but of course, let me know what you guys thought about the 800S Fusion. And really, if you like the idea of being able to push in for a completely different EQ scoop, I really think that is just an awesome feature to have on an amp. But thank you so much for watching. As always, I truly do appreciate it. I truly appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing. Subscribe if you haven't or don't. I'm not your dad. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters. Mwah! If you wanna be like one of these beautiful people and help support the channel every month and be included in things like early access to videos, giveaways, and more, head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see y'all next time.